Over the past few years, our energetic boundaries have been frazzled. We've been pushed to the limit too many times with the pandemic, the current economic instability, and the rise of violence around the world. We find ourselves more disconnected than ever with less human connection, depending on social media for our relational needs. Whether or not you are directly affected by any of these circumstances and whether or not you realize it, these have wreaked havoc on our nervous systems. There's so much worry, fear, anger, and heightened emotions swirling around our world, and none of us have gotten by unscathed. If you think about it, I'm sure you can feel it, hypervigilant, just waiting for the next disaster to happen. Or maybe you're more agitated or irritable than you used to be. There's more tension in your body. And in most moments of your day, you're even forgetting to stop for a moment to take a breath. But thankfully, there are ways to create much more peace and stability within so that you can face the world with more clarity and confidence. And it starts with building strong, energetic boundaries. I'm Asha Frost. I'm a medicine woman, a healer, and a teacher of Indigenous traditions and ancestral wisdom. And I've worked with thousands of people using ancient traditions and earth medicine to powerfully help them heal in the face of the challenges of our modern world. And one of the biggest things I want to teach you is the vital importance of energetic protection. Having a protected energetic container is so important. Think of it like a strong aura or shield that surrounds you. As we walk through our days or even simply connect with the world via our phones and computers, we are inundated with harmful energies at all angles. Media headlines clamor for our attention with words that keep us angry or afraid. Influencers sell us a promise of being enough only when we reach some impossible standard physically or athletically or even mindfully. Social media exposing us to chaotic energy as we watch everyone canceling one another. Drivers on the road race to where they need to be with very little patience or care for others. Even our coworkers, family, friends, and neighbors with their best intentions often have specific ideas of how we should live or what we should believe. These energies permeate our lives and our physical bodies. They make us feel unsafe. They fray our nervous systems. They even make our ability for clear decision-making difficult. Without energetic protection, we are in the throes of our world, taking on other people's energies that are muddying our daily lives. So just like it's so important to take care of our physical hygiene every day, it's vital to take care of our energetic hygiene too and create a strong, protected, energetic container where the noise and disharmony of the outside world don't affect us so deeply. Over the next week or two, I'll be sharing some videos with you about how to create energetic protection through earth medicine and the animal spirits, who I've worked with my whole life. And I'll teach you how to work with them to create strong boundaries and energetic safety. To find them, use the hashtag Asha Animal Spirits. But now, let's begin with one practice right away and work with snake. We all know that snakes shed their skin and therefore are a powerful symbol of transformation. However, we can also use snake medicine for noticing energies we might be carrying that are not ours to carry. Because we have been inundated with many collective energies over the past few years, this is a practice that we all need and can use daily to assist us in noticing what is ours and what is not. For this practice, I'm going to have you focus on simply noticing what you may be holding in the layers of your energy field or your snake skin. We are going to notice what needs to be shed, and we're going to start this practice by calling in snake. I'm going to invite you to close your eyes for a moment, to take a deep breath, to feel your feet on the floor. Wiggle your toes a little bit and bring your attention into the soles of your feet. Now, as you breathe, imagine that your breath is moving up 
and down your spine, bringing awareness to your breath. You're going to feel in to the land that is beneath you, through the floors and the layer of the floors, all the way into the soil, so that you are directly connected to the earth. We are going to call upon this magnificent snake spirit. And today the spirit we call upon is a rattlesnake. Don't be afraid. This is an ally. This is a protector. This is an animal that's going to be so helpful for you. So breathe in again to your body. Feel into the land. And we call upon that snake. Brilliant snake spirit. We ask for your presence and your medicine to infuse our energy field here and now. We ask for assistance in noticing what is ours and what is not. With your eyes closed, I invite you to tune in to that outer part of your energy field. We are made up of so many layers, beautiful layers of light and energy. Feel in and tap in to that field that surrounds you. And we're going to ask Snake to show us what do the layers of our energetic skin currently look like? And how much are we carrying in those layers? Snake comes forward in a very powerful way. They may come before you in a vision they may slither up, but you notice them in some way. And as they are here, they highlight the skin, your energetic skin. And we ask, how much of what I'm carrying is collective, ancestral, inherited, familial, or otherwise? How much of the energy that is in my energetic skin is not mine to carry. You may receive a number or an image or a sensation. However you might receive this information, trust what you receive. And now we ask Snake, how much of this energetic skin can I shed today how much can you help me release so that I can be free, so that I can be clear? And if you are open to this, we're going to bring in a rattling to shed this skin. And we take a deep breath in and we notice what is not ours and we ask for the shaking to clear us. Snake medicine moves up and down, up and down, bringing in an infusion of light and magic and medicine and beauty, clearing those old layers that are not yours to carry, collective, ancestral, familial, anything that's inherited, all the energies you've soaked up from the last while that you can let go of. It falls to the earth. It falls to the earth where it is mulched and cleared. Feel into your energetic skin. Snake offers you this beautiful infusion of light. You may receive it as a color or a vibration, but you do receive it with sparkle. Feel that sparkling infusion around your energetic field a snake offers you all of this beauty. We thank Snake for this clearing. And this is something that you can practice now. To end this practice, feel your feet again on the land. Take a deep breath in and offer gratitude to yourself and to Snake for this beautiful healing. 
I'm so excited to teach you more about how animal spirit medicine can profoundly protect your energy and heal your life. Stay tuned for more videos in the coming week.